Hey there, how's everyone going? My name is Alec with Abritis and today we're going to be showing you the new license which our colleagues from the development department just gave us the software for. So the idea is that uh, we are now going to be able to replace the VGS4 NAG2 type transmissions without um, cutting through so that we can make them virgin. Uh, what we're going to do now is uh, this is a used transmission and we're going to replace the existing transmission in this car. We're going to personalize the new transmission and you no longer have to make the, old, the, the new replacement transmission virgin. And this is the biggest breakthrough and I'm going to take you through the steps right now. You join us again inside the S63 AMG. And with the new version, what we're going to do is we're going to go through the FBS4 manager and we're gonna open the software. So like I said, this is the latest version. It's not even out yet. So you guys should be expecting it quite soon. Here we go, we've selected the transmission control unit and we're going to read the information from the transmission controller. The software is connecting right now. There we go. We can now see that the, the transmission is personalized and activated. It is allowing normal operation and it has a certain SSID within it. And all the other information. We also have the VIN number and we can uh, save the information right now. So once I press save, this will save the FBS data from the existing transmission. And it's going through the process quite quickly, uh, as it was in the previous version. But in this, in this version, it's even more optimized um, when compared to the old one. So once we've, once we've saved the FBS data, uh, I'm sure that you guys will see it in the screen recording where we, we've saved the FBS data and we already have it on, on the computer. Then we can go into the utilities and then uh, we will save all the configuration uh, data as well, uh, just so that we can have the config from the car. And, and we're saving the configuration from the transmission. The configuration data is the data responsible for the particular operation under different circumstances of the transmission. I'm sure you know that uh, the VGS4 NAG2 style transmission is in fact a 7 speed, so it's, a, it's the last of the 7G Tronics, right before Mercedes switched over to the 9Gs. And uh, it was a big, big problem for everyone to, to be able to exchange them in FBS4 cars. So once we're done with all that, uh, we can replace the transmission we had before, and we can just, we can just take it and put it in the car and then you will join us once this conductor plate is already installed in the vehicle so that we can perform the personalization together. You join us back inside the car. We just replaced the conductor plate and like I mentioned before, the conductor plate is a second hand one which is the biggest, biggest break breakthrough of this new software. So um, if it was a brand new transmission from factory, you could still personalize it with the old software. But with the new software, you now no longer have to cut to make, the, to make it virgin. So if we uh, just select transmission like we did before and we press the info button, we will go through and read all the information from the uh, new secondhand transmission. Uh, as you can see, uh, we see that the uh, transmission is personalized and activated, but it is not allowing no normal operation. This means that it's personalized and activated, but to a different car. Now, a few of you might say, but the VIN is the same as it was before. Yes, it's the same because the VIN transfer is automatic and it's, uh, it's done as soon as you connect the conductor plate to the vehicle. So now you no longer have to press the Virgin button. If you do press it, you will see uh, that uh, the software will tell us, listen, you can now personalize the, this type of transmission without setting it to a Virgin state. Uh, do you want to continue setting it to a virgin state? Of course you don't have, you don't want to because you don't have to anymore. So we say no and we just say personalize. We already have the previous 
FBS data saved from the old uh, conductor plate and uh, we're going through we're going to select it right here so this is the one from uh, a few minutes ago and now the software will take a few moments to go through the full adaptation procedure just do it as quickly as possible it does require internal CAN bus connection and we also supply the cables for internal CAN bus while we're waiting for the upload of the information uh, I can share a few a few very important pieces of information here with you guys so the VGS4 NAG2 is a seven speed transmission and it is installed in a higher powered version of the of the early FBS4 cars and up to our first solution there was absolutely no other solution to to exchange those before that now we also have the first possible solution which allows us to uh, perform the exchange of the conductor plates without uh, the need to cut them open and make them virgin so I truly believe that this is a step forward in the right direction and you're going to be seeing much more on that front from us. So yeah, so where you will mostly find those is the S63s and the you know higher powered kind of versions. So the 12 cylinders will still have those and uh, the higher powered 8 cylinders. As far as we're aware, this is the one and only possible solution for uh, VGS4 NAG2 style transmissions. Oh, by the way, while we're still doing this, you guys can let us know if, uh, if you like the new style of videos where we do some talking and explaining. If you don't, then we can go back to the older style where you just see the, uh, the hands and uh, gestures which we do. You do need to have internet connectivity for this, for this part of the procedure because the calculation is once again done on our server we're going to turn the ignition off so the ignition is off and then on remember to uh, just click on the button twice press ok personalization is successful this means that if I push the info button now I'm going to be able to read the full information and it's going to be allowing me to perform normal operation of the transmission okay still not activated you know why because there is an, an activation process of 100 ignitions we've been through that uh, a few times already the most important part is that the transmission is now allowing normal operation which means that it's uh, completely uh, normalized and installed in the vehicle and then from the utilities uh, we are going to be able to program all the configuration data which we have saved before as we can see here, we have a file called config s63.vgs. VGS stands for the uh, transmission conductor plate. So right now the software will write the full configuration data back, back to the, the vehicle and uh, it will work just like the old one did, uh, only without the defects. I really cannot think of another an, an, another solution which is like that because this is a complete complete thing you no longer cut there is no there is no need to virginize nothing like that it's it's just straightforward uh, you take the uh, you read the, some information from the old transmission put the new one in and it's all an automatic process which is uh, probably the greatest breakthrough uh, we've had this year it's uh, completely ready now also. You can see that the transmission programming is uh, once again completely ready. And this means that right now we can, we can start the car and, uh, and go for a test drive. Now that we've seen what we can do when we can extract the information from the old transmission, what happens when we cannot extract this data? One of our next videos is about to show you just that. You guys are gonna have to stay tuned to find that out. By the way, like, share, subscribe, all that, bells, whatever. And please let us know what you think of the new format. Done? Next car, please.